Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you what it looks like inside of a blade spindle on a Craftsman Husqvarna or AYP lawn tractor. So here's a Craftsman lawn tractor and it's made by AYP. It's the same company that makes Husqvarna products. And here's where the blade spindle is right here and that's the type that I'll be showing you today. So you may find the spindle I'll be showing you today on many different tractors that are made by AYP. It may not be specifically branded Craftsman. And here's the spindle. It's part number 13794. And I'll be taking it apart just to show you what it looks like inside. I know a lot of people like to see what stuff looks like inside. Especially on outdoor power equipment parts. As you've noticed, this is a brand new spindle. To take it apart, what you have to do is take off the top nut here and there's a washer here as well and now the shaft should come out all it is on the inside is a shaft like this one of the bearings is still on here's the bolt for the blade and over here you can see a star pattern for the blade to go on and this is how the blade goes on by the way fits in there like this and then you reinsert the blade bolt Another quick tip in the video is that sometimes the star pattern here ends up being stripped as you can see on this old shaft from the same spindle. If the star pattern gets stripped like this then just replace either the shaft or the whole complete spindle. So here's the inside of the spindle, it's just hollow. You can pop the other bearing off. So once the bearings are out it's just hollow like this. It's basically just a shell that the shaft and the bearings go inside of. And you're going to have a larger bearing at the bottom and a smaller bearing for the top. And you can see here that the shaft is splined. This is for the belt pulley to go on. And by the way, I've got a pulley here just to show you how it goes on the shaft. Just like this. As you can see, the shaft is splined and also the pulley. Sometimes what happens is these splines here end up being stripped and you have to replace the whole pulley. By the way, if you end up needing to replace this pulley, it's part number 129861. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to put this all back into the spindle. And it goes flush with the spindle here. Now at the top here, the other bearing goes on like this. And to put the other bearing in, I'm just going to put a socket here around the inner race of the bearing and tap it in with my brass hammer. And until you need to use the spindle, the washer goes here and the nut. And I'm also going to leave the blade bolt on the spindle as well until I need it. When you buy a complete spindle like this, usually all these parts come with it. All the bolts and the nut and the washer at the top. So that's all there is to all the parts making up a spindle for your lawn tractor. Thanks for watching guys and you'll see me in my next video.